or into some of the more advanced stuff, I'm going to teach you how to do spectral editing. Now, spectral editing is really useful when you have background noise and you want to be able to see the frequencies and the sounds. As you can see, this is just standard waveform. We can't really tell. Like, if I asked you right now, where do you hear wind or background noise? You're not going to be able to tell me by looking at the waveform. So when you're in waveform editing mode, using the waveform editor, I'm going to show you a little secret. You see this little tiny bar down here? It's barely visible. If you just click and hold and drag it up, you now have spectral editing view. And it's really cool because if you look at the really deep, dark orange parts, that's generally where the background noise is going to be heard, like the wind or any sort of frequency. This is spectral editing mode. Now this lecture itself is just to show you how to get into it and show you how it works. In the next lecture, we're going to look at applying noise reduction using effects. So what you want to do is actually narrow in on the places that have that background noise. If you look over here, that's really deep, dark orange. It's kind of like fire. You hear the shh sound? It only picks up sounds like that. Look at this. S is. So, of a certain thing. so that's generally what will appear on the spectral editor and that's why it's so important. And as you see, it's so simple to get to the spectral editor. Not many people know about that. People who've been using Audition for years have no idea what this is or what it does. So if you're editing with somebody after taking this course and you just go whoop, they're gonna think you're an expert just because whoop. So. In our next lecture, we're going to be talking about how to apply noise reduction without having to do much work at all. Let's get to it.